Um, uh, <laughs> I need a bigger table. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at this. And this, there's some missing here because they are like hanging. You know, my dendrobium Victoria Regina is still in bloom. And my rainbow forest is still in bloom. I have some that are not presented here on this table, but look at this. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and joining me on this video. I just had to accumulate everything that was in bloom and put it all into one table. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, when you see my blooms for you videos, you see them scattered around and in clips and such. But I thought maybe just throw them all on a table and see what we've got. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So the ones that are hanging are kind of missing, but you know, we've got the majority of them here. The ones that you've seen recently. You got the Tabasco text there on the left. My corn Servi, Lady Chatterley, as I call her, with her cheeky grin. Look, Sogo Vivian is still in bloom. Pink to bronze. Looking amazing, even though it's just two, as I would say. And here's that Epidendrum No ID in full bloom. I have as yet to film this duo here, which has been allocated. But look at it. It's just, yeah, uh, what can I say? Peacock, golden peacock fading fast now but the last bloom i had to include that my all-time favorite just for being so loyal and vigorous and this one here our pre-lockdown purchase before we knew anything of this was going to happen still in bloom with that one spike i have to repot it i'm still waiting for signals to know whether it's actually time to repot it. I'm quite hesitant about it just yet, but we know that if I were to take the spike off, it would trigger growth. However, yeah, I'm playing devil's advocate here and I hope I get lucky. And here are the sweet memories. Look at those. Just incredible, both of them. In the back, the no ID that we named Walter. And my goodness, <laughs> Epidendrum Arkansonianum. Still, still. It's been two months. It's been two months. Oh, wow. What a blessing. And here's little Shutano riding high. Oh, how can you not just. How can you not? Speechless. And up here I have an Anthera Citrina. She's dropping blooms one a day now, but still three to show off. And then my Lelia Purpurata Verkhoiseria Estriata. Actually, it's Verkhoiseri. I've been looking it up trying to get it right, no matter what the tags say that come from the nursery. And then here's my mini fowl that I call Maxi, in honor of my son. Oh my God, she is still blooming. There we have little unicorn, still, still going strong. I cut one spike off because it looked like it was getting scale and I could be rigorous and I just cut it off and treated the plant and then it's still got one very, very healthy spike there. And look, Lindley Kupovitz. Ha, ha, ha. With the fragrance of Eton Mess. And here's my Lelia Purpurata by Koiseriai. Doing beautifully, smelling gorgeous. Epidendrum Multiforme, crossed with Capricorn Nu. Little wild cat or big wild cat. I mean, I just thought, you know, bring them all together and look at the spectacle in a consolidated video as opposed to individual clips. 
It can be misleading, the individual clips, because it doesn't look like there's a lot going on. But like I said, there are some missing. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. Look at that. Even the straggler spikes are gorgeous and welcome. Siamese doll kiwi looks yellow on camera, but actually she still has that green tinge to her. So what happens? All this joy when they bloom and then eventually they will fade. Yeah, so, you know, I just put you on a tripod so that I can not wobble around, let the wind do its thing. And we grow our orchids for the blooms and, you know, eventually they'll fade and then we look forward to the next time and hopefully we don't get any bugs in there. Let me just go get shooting or it's too pretty to be hidden away back there. And then we grow them on for the next season. We hope that nothing happens so that we can see the blooms again very soon. In the orchid hobby very soon is what, 12 months, 18 months? <laughs> more if you get them as juveniles, even more if you get them as seedlings. But what do we do? Well, I have, um, I have my pictures and I enjoy my pictures over the months while I wait for them to do it all over again. But I have something else now that I want to share with you. Because for example, my Brassavola digbiana, one of my favorites, um, still no new growth on my Brassavola digbiana. It's like, it's, it's just resting, it's done its thing. So they'll come a bit later, but look, you have the pictures to tide you over and wait for the next blooming and then you can have them on leggings or you can have them on a beach towel or a fanny pack and if you still want some more you can have it on a hoodie t-shirts um how about doing it with varioda same thing beach towel, mug, or what about if I were to say I'll put a Lelia purpurata on a hoodie, on some leggings, on some mugs. It's, um, it's been something I've been toying with for a very, very long time. And my life was always in a different direction. And sometimes circumstances happen that you do not understand and you embrace, is it a challenge or is it, I don't know, I can't describe it. But I've been uh, sitting down and I've opened my shop. I have been designing away and I have put a few items onto the page and I wanted to share that with you because this is not just about what I want to have in a shop. Um, this is about how do I honor milestones of when my subscribers are so loyal, they stay with me, they watch my videos. You know, the, the, the traditional giveaways. For me, this is uh, about personalizing further this channel to engage in a different way. We don't know how, what the future is going to hold with regards to how we're actually going to be able to give away plants. There's already some restrictions that I've recognized and it's kind of scary. But clothes with blooms on them, they are international. So all my milestones 
I will honor with giveaways from blooms of my orchids that I have accumulated, designed, consolidated, put into the shop, and then winners will get to choose what they want, which blooms they want. And on top of that, if one of my blooms or anything on my shop do, does not qualify, you know, we all have different tastes. We have likes and preferences. My giveaways will also extend to the point that my subscribers can send in their blooms to me. I will eventually make an email available. It's too early days, but uh, well, I say that. But the intention is my giveaways will open the doors for subscribers if I haven't got something in my collection that I've already put into my shop. Or if you yourself have blooms that you would like to have on your own items, then I would say send them to me. I will work with the image. I will render the image and I will put it on the item that you want and then you will get your item even more personalized. So I'm starting with my blooms. I really want this to be something that connects us further. My blooms at this point, I am working on quite a few. I have plenty of material to work with, but I did want to introduce to you my store. I have it in a link below. And uh, you just saw some pictures of some items that how I'm working around it. And I was thinking, well, maybe you'd be interested to, once the blooms fade, there is no need for them to fade. You can also dot them around your house where there's limited light and you can enjoy the orchids there because I have them on pillows as well. So, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a very small channel, but I want to get to the concept of why I'm here. It's about sharing, it's about being approachable, being personal, getting to know people, and just wanting to give back when I, when something blooms. And I hope that if you see what I have in my shop and you have any suggestions, then my goodness, leave it all in the comments because I am so open to getting this right, to accommodating as much as I possibly can so that my subscribers feel like, yes, I'm the one doing the videos. Yes, I'm the one trying to grow my orchids the best I can. Yes, I'm the one, blah, blah, blah. But this is about you. And I, I don't want to get emotional. I get sometimes choked up when I have a um, Blooms For You video coming out. There are several takes sometimes because it means a lot. And I get a little bit like, you know, yeah, I, I get choked up. So this is about me designing within a platform that has somewhat limited access. I have other plans in my head, but I so far don't have the, how do you say? I don't have the resources or the platform to be able to go to the extent that I have going on in my head. This is a start and I wanted to get this out to you as soon as possible because this is long term and there's no point waiting a month, two months, six months. This is about getting to know what you like, do you like, do you want some? Please help yourself, it's there for the taking and if you have other blooms you would prefer it's also there for the creating and that's what I want to do and um, thank you thank you everybody very much everybody all the numbers the, the numbers behind the subscribers are individual people if I could put you all in a room and say hi and thank you then I would do so but let's take it for what it is this is the launch of my shop with some gorgeous blooms that you've seen in other videos. 
and I hope that you have a look around my shop and constructive feedback. I, I am so, so open to it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> yeah, you can hear it. <clears throat> Sorry. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. And I hope that you enjoyed this little bit of laid back setback, just flower power video. I appreciate having you here. Always. All the time. Every time. Thank you. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.